Previously on Drake Paragon. Hey, Ray. I'm ready. Hey. Uh. We still got a stow down below. Oil change at 6075 hours. Isn't that one of the deepest channels in the world? Goodbye, Lunenberg. It's been fun. Just underneath the waterline, there's uh, hundreds of jellyfish, absolutely hundreds of them. <laughs> I am riding the shredders and we are headed to Newfoundland. Anna is the most awesome crew. And he's having a lot of fun too. So we've just left Nova Scotia. We're heading up to Newfoundland. And I'm just taking us out of the harbour at the moment. So we're taking the northeastern route out of here. It takes you out by East Point Island. So I'm just following the, uh, the markers out and have a GPS waypoint set. Really enjoyed Lunenburg. Got to go see a distillery and have a really good sit down and chat with Drake and have a drink and just ask him about icebergs and we had to talk about a couple of different things. Pretty much how the trip was going was the big thing. That was the real highlight. Today we've got sunshine. Very, very small amount of swell coming in. It's just that we're sideways onto it, is that it's a little bit rollier. Once we get the sails up with this wind that's coming in now, just coming up to 10 knots of wind coming on the starboard nose. Uh, and it's gonna be great because I'll just give you a quick look. Look, that's Nova Scotia behind me. Over here. Yeah, so all is well. This is a bit of a longer trip now, this leg. Approximately six days, hopefully. Uh, if we hit some bad weather, it could take 10. So plenty of food, plenty of water, and diesel. And we double checked, there's no icebergs on this leg. Now it's picking up, so we should have some wind to put up the sails, hopefully. So when we get out of the sand outside, we'll put the sails up. So the trip is going really well so far. Obviously it's nice to stay for a little bit longer in these places, but I think it's better to have time further up in the trip, say like in Greenland or Iceland. Consequences there with bad weather, including icebergs. You need a little bit extra time, I think, to plan these things out. Morale on the boat's good. 
we're all just getting used to sailing and living with one another. It's more like living together than anything else. But it's good. So, clean up after yourself. Don't be too annoying. Keep yourself clean. Do your work. Try and help out where you can. Try and be a nice person. Awesome. How's it feel being up the mast? Fun. It's a beautiful yeah. view up there. I really wasn't expecting it to be so sunny and yeah. perfect. This is, I mean, beautiful. This is perfect sailing for this. Hi, hi. 12 knots. Yeah, it's perfect. We should get under sail. You want to get under sail? Look, we have lots of depth here. I don't have to go around this marker if you don't want. I might, because it's a little bit sweaty and stuff, I can go down at three meters there. So yep. I might go stick on the same side here. Sure. I guess any building south we can do it might be beneficial. Okay. Just pull it up and then push it back down. Woo! That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Yes. It's sensed you put out the sails. Well, let's give her everything she's got. I'll put it up in the stays. Oh, we had some great sailing for a little while, but then it just calmed down. We got less than 10 knots apparent wind off a starboard beam. Do you see any wind out there? Uh, there's a little bit of wind, like, I mean, we should be doing it with four knots. I mean, we're doing just a little bit less than that, but I bring it out to the broad reach now. I just was being cautious about, here we go, there's something. <laughs> cautious about that land, yeah. Hey, sailing girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Feel this for me. I don't know if this is It's just 
I don't know, is that just the gear's normal, but it feels... I have a feel of that, just which is like a helmet. Yeah. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah. Like there's no more? Totally. Okay, sure. Absolutely. Feels like not enough wind. I'm up to 10 knots. Crap. I thought we were going to have a beautiful snail. But yeah. we're just doing three knots. Give it a minute. I don't know if you can see them, but just underneath the waterline, there's uh, hundreds of jellyfish, absolutely hundreds of them. Oh, they're really beautiful, but deadly. Chicken and salsa. Just throw it all in the skillet and cook it until the chicken is done. Beautiful day of sailing, making about five knots of the ground, and we are on course. So, all is good. We're gonna have a nice meal soon. It's a great way to start the trip. Just past Big Duck Island on our port. There she is. She's got some big waves crashing. Look at that. Boom. We've got up every inch of canvas that we have. There's not enough wind, but we're hoping that that will change soon. We need to make five knots. Yeah. Hopefully soon the wind will pick up and we'll be going a bit faster. Hmm. Maybe I should let the jib out a little bit more. Actually, maybe I should go check on the chicken. Mm -hmm. This is pretty simple and quick. There's a tortilla with the chicken mixture over half of it. And here's some cheese. Cook it on each side of the tortilla until it's brown. Flip them over, cut them into wedges. How does it taste? Mm -hmm. Chicken quesadillas with salsa, cheese. Do you think you'll be able to do a lookout watch? Uh -huh. <laughs> I really think you should be out in the cockpit in the fresh air. Mm -hmm. well, if you can come out in the cockpit, it's a glorious day outside. It's sunny, breezy, comfortable temperature. Huh? Can put that book on? Yeah, yeah, we can put that book, Deception Point On, by Dan Brown. Mm -hmm. Do you mind starting it over from the beginning? That'll be good. You want to do that right now? Mm -hmm. While you're eating, you can eat with me and Dana out in the cockpit? Huh? <laughs> Come on out as soon as you can. We'll put that book on. Put it on now. 
No, I want you out in the cockpit, man. But you're gonna get sick down here. I'm not. I have my eyes closed. I'm resting. Okay. Okay. How is it? Delicious. Yeah. It's really good. Awesome. It's nothing but chicken, salsa, and cheddar cheese in a tortilla. <sighs> yeah, I mean, as soon as I look at the horizon, I feel better. I was down there cooking, feeling not so great, but as soon as I come out here and look at the horizon and feel the fresh air, a lot better. My trick is to land is still in view as well there. If you're getting a bit, ooh, it's still there for a little while, so it's only there for a little while. See, if we leave her alone for a little while, and then when it's her watch, we she yeah, she'll rally. She'll start to feel better. She'll rally for her watch. Maybe I'll just stay up here while she's on watch. Okay, so we don't quite have enough wind to go at least five knots, but we are going a pretty steady four and a half. You can see over here, there's our speed through the water in the middle. 4.7, 4.8, 4.7, 4.5 five through the water. And also center number here, I don't know if you can see that, where it reads Sometimes five, sometimes five and a half, but more times four and a half. Oh, wait a minute, maybe we got some wind here. Over five, steady over five. The question in our minds has been, do we go at 4.75 knots over ground, under sail alone, or do we run the engine and go six, burning, you know, one and a half gallons of diesel per hour to do those extra two knots per hour. Don't want to run the engine, you know, if we can avoid it at all, just because it's one of our biggest expenses. in here at this point. I think this was the one that I used last. Have you ever used these Cuban rails? Not the Cuban ones. Something similar, but not those type. Right. Leave ones, they're kind of like squares. Squares? Yeah, uh, they're like squares with two pegs either side. And you kind of wrap the line in, in between the square. Huh. Just little hand lines is all they were. Here's what we've got. I don't know what he is. He's white. He's got these white hairs on it. He's got a little bit of weight to him, not much. Let's take that. And... Pass it off. And let it uncoil by itself. It is tight on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, would that be funny? Yes. Yeah. Take this. I'm no pro fisherman, but I have managed to catch some pretty big tuna trolling for days sometimes. Every once in a while, I pull in all the line just to take the seaweed off of the lure. That's it, now we're fishing. <laughs>
I get past you or no? Yeah. 